Hey, what's up everybody? It's your boy Jason coming at you one more again. Uh, topic of tonight's video, whatever, is uh, I need a stadium truck. You know, I've had these electronics uh, <clears throat> for about a year and a half. I'll show you all these electronics here. You know, I got my Reedy Servo. Oops, sorry. I think it's a 1209 Servo. You know, I got my Hobby Wing. I always got my Hobby Wing uh, XR10 Pro on deck. Always love that uh, speed control or ESC, whatever you want to call it. Uh, got me a receiver here. It's the uh, wireless receiver, Sanwa, or as I like to call it, Aerotronics. But I've had these for like a year now. And I just think it's time for me to get a truck. Uh, the Yokomo truck is coming out. Also, you got the uh, Team Associated uh, T6.1. And then you also have the TLR 22.4.0, whatever edition they're on. Uh, I just want to stay on truck, but here's my stipulation and, and when I told my buddies this stipulation uh, the laughs I got <clears throat> I want a truck that doesn't wear out that quickly and that has that every time I set on a track I want that new car feel you know I want the quality parts quality plastics the new car feel every time I go out on the track. That's what I want. And they it busts out laughing. But um you know and and the one thing I was you know just telling my, my buddies on and stuff like that is I don't care about parts, uh hobby store part availability, whatever, you know. Uh because we all carry our own hobby store. Uh what I do carry it uh, care about is if I can get parts like arms uh, shock tower stuff like that stuff I break you know like I want to be able to find parts like you know I don't want to be able to go to 10 hobby stores only one hobby store have a part I don't want that but at the same time I want to be able to find parts so I buy my part uh, <clears throat> but I'm looking for quality you know and, and I'm thinking the Yokomo truck may have it, but also you got the TLR 4.0. I think it has the, I want to say it has the, that truck has the Stifazel arms and stuff on it. I'm not sure. Uh, but yeah, I mean, that's one of the market I'm in for. Um, also, on the Yokomo truck, they have uh, chrome shock shafts or can you call it yeah chrome shock shafts uh i really like the the chrome shock shafts i did did find out that the yokomo shock bodies are not kashima coated i thought yokomo and kyosho shock bodies were kashima coated straight from out of the box but no it's not um i do like the feel of kashima kashima coated shock bodies um yes the Yokomo truck is more expensive but it has the parts that you upgrade anyway but I am an associated guy like I have the B6 which is you know I'll put it to a test at the dirt masters of dirt um, I have the B64 which my my B64 is on point I'll, I'll put it up against anybody um but uh yeah, like I said, I need a truck. Um, uh, the T6.1, I did hear that. I don't know how true it is. I haven't held one. But I heard the fellow YouTuber on here that when he put his together, he f felt and he kind of know that the same materials for the T6.1 is different from the B6.1. And I don't want that, you know. I want quality stuff. I'm looking for that, uh, 
I don't know, it's just that that quality. Like X-ray has quality stuff, you know. Uh, but the parts availability for X-ray, like I said, you go to ten hobby stores, you may find one that has the arm that you need, you know. And I don't want that either. But uh, but yeah, y'all guys comment down below which one you think I should get or and why why I should get it. Just don't say. Uh, Lucy, <laughs> and another person said, associated. No, tell me why. Like, you know, the pros and the cons of, of what y'all think, or what y'all seen at y'all's local track. You know, what y'all seen dominant. Um, the Yokomo won't be out until October 12th. Uh, the race I'm preparing for is, like I said, is Masters of Dirt, and it's October 25th. Uh, it don't matter. My track is for my local track. Local clay track is four hours away. Uh, my carpet track which is nearby they have a rotating schedule so it's kind of hard to know when they're gonna run like I'm I'm only off on certain days and I gotta take you know week I work every weekend so I gotta take weekends off if I want to go race so my tracks open through the week I kind of hit it but it's hit or miss but uh, but yeah I gotta get a transponder too for the truck but that's what I'm getting next but yeah, um, just a lot of pros and cons. Um, the Yokomo truck, um, still a mystery to everybody. Um, even some of the team drivers is still a mystery to them. Uh, <clears throat> and I'm kind of wanting to do that truck. Like I said, it comes with chrome shock shafts, I think. Um, and, and, you know, it's, it's new. Nobody has it, and the truck's a little more expensive. Um, I'm not a fan of the body, though. Uh, the, 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 that body that comes with the Yokomo, what they project to come with the Yokomo, I'm not a fan of. I like the T.6 body, and I love the TLR uh, 24, 22 4.0 truck body. I love that body. Um, but the Yokomo truck body, I'm just not a fan of. Um, it just don't, it just don't look right to me, and that's being nicely. Uh, but yeah, um, and I don't know what the pre-order sales are. I know A Main went and done their pre-order uh, sales, um, but also on on this bill here, I would like to buy this bill through a hobby store. So whatever truck I get, I like to go to a hobby store, um, and that's like I said, I would like to go to a hobby store. That is, if they have it before the race, uh, I would like to get this truck and show y'all videos at least a week before the race, or, or maybe two or three weeks before the race. I said a week before the race. Show y'all build video and all that of me putting it together. But anyway, y'all, that's just a. A rambling of my stadium truck wants like I said I I have the money saved up to get one I've been like I said I've had these electrons for over a year but anyway guys comment down below and I hopefully see y'all master of dirt if y'all see me at master of dirt come up and say hey what up watch the channel thank you uh, you know come up and <laughs> don't, uh, don't be too don't be too alarmed, but I may put you in a video if you come up to me at Master Dirt. Say, hey, what up? Uh, I have a tendency to put everybody in my videos. Uh, that's that's just how I roll, and, and that's just how I do it. But anyway, guys, ladies, gents, y'all take it easy. I'll talk at you later.